The Inspector General of Police, represented by CIG Operations, heads of various security agencies, other members of the Senate, the resident electoral commissioner for Washington State, the commissioner of police of Washington State, the secretary to the commission, senior officials of the commission, uh, members of the INEC Press Corps, ladies and gentlemen. I deliberately did not mention the National Commission because they were introduced earlier. So, National Commissioners, I think you are welcome to this meeting. I warmly welcome you all to this special meeting. This is perhaps the first time that it says this meeting on a Saturday. Uh, we have to do so uh, because of time management. A team from the Commission is leading on Sunday for a short walk on readiness assessment. And by the time we come back, the national holidays will kick in and we have to go back again for the stakeholders meeting. So today is the only time we have to hold this uh, very important meeting. This meeting is coming barely four weeks after a similar meeting on 3rd June 2022 to review the security arrangement for the recently concluded Ikiti State Governorship election. The synergy between the Commission and the security agencies on the one hand and among the security agencies on the other ensured a seamless coordination of efforts resulting in the widely acclaimed success of the election. Security was well coordinated. The election was peaceful. Personnel and materials were deployed promptly. Election day processes commenced early and on schedule. Election technology functioned optimally. Results were transmitted from the polling units and collected at the various collection centers in record time. I must, on behalf of the Commission, on their our appreciation to members of excess for the success of the election. We must continue to build on the success of the equity experience to ensure improved performance in subsequent elections, including the 2023. <laughs>